okay good day guys today we shall be designing a four story building but on this in this video i'm going to teach you how to import um, a dxf file from autocad so what we are interested in now is to bring out the grid line so let me turn off this wall layer turn it off then i like the grid line i like it okay copy remove it here okay sorry i didn't like this okay copy so maybe it's on a location somewhere here okay so the next thing i do is to turn off my column layer and i'm not going to use it on start pro turn it off then trim because if i don't trim start pro is going to insert a node somewhere here and it's going to change the plan so you trim it and it starts okay i have this so next i do is save it as a dxf file save as a dxf file so i like it w lock okay so come here choose your location where you want to save it so i'm saving it to start 001 so whatever you want dxf 2010 so save your units so i'm working in millimeters okay so you can bring it back to any layer you want that's it and you come to your start pro new let me give it a new name four story building choose your location where you want to save this work analytical metric you can insert any job info you want then you create okay so come to file import dxf so start 001 you click it so your direction is going to be y up okay okay so we are working in millimeter and kilonewton okay so let's watch and see now we've imported it the next thing we do is select your node cursor let's see if we have all the nodes there i like as you can see there's supposed to be a node here there's supposed to be a node here but there's no node so all we do is take the beam cursor i like it come to geometry i like it intersecting beams okay so i like it sorry intersecting beams 0 0.001 all new beams created so as you can see we have new beams broken down so select your node cursor select i like you can see the nodes there so we need a node for foundation so come here translational repeat y minus three direction minus three link step okay so next thing i do is take my beam cursor in the front direction i like this geometry since it's a four story building i'm going to change it to four sorry three then number of steps four in the y direction so link steps okay this is it next thing is create splits one two three so the five story building then let me delete this so this is the first story second third and fourth so this will be the roof beam so this will be the slab so i like this Okay, then geometry infinite to plates. Okay, so we are done with that. Next thing is to assign property. So for our beam, we are using YD, that is the depth 450, and our ZD, which is the breadth, we are using 230. And for the column, we are using 230 by 230. Add then for the roof beam, I'm using 230 by 300. So add for my slab, I'm using a thickness of 150. Okay, 
add, close, assign to view, assign to view. Okay, this one is for the slab. Then this one is for the roof beam, view, front view. So assign to selected beams, assign. Then the next one is to assign to select parallel to Y. Assign selected beams, assign. Then the next one will be assigned to missing attributes. So missing properties. So this was a missing assigned selected beams assign. Okay. Next we've assigned the material as concrete. Then specification. We can choose to make this place a pinned end condition. Pinned end condition. So the next thing we do is to create support. Support. So you create support fixed add glow. So in the front view. I like this. Assign to selected nodes. Assign. Okay. So in the next video, we shall load this and analyze and design it. Take it to RCDC for detailing. Thank you for watching today's video. Please make sure you subscribe and share my video. Thank you very much. And if you have any problem, you can put it in the comment section. Thank you.